Hello everybody, we're here at the Concorde de Elegance. The biggest car show on the peninsula. And we're going to talk to some of the owners and uh, I've got my father here because he knows a little bit more about the cars than I and uh, hopefully you can uh, learn something new. And yeah, I expect we will learn a lot from the owners. New stuff about old cars. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Let's go. This is your car, a Hudson, is that right? That's correct. It's a 1951 Hudson Hollywood Hornet. Why the Hollywood? Um, it was a rare model that was made in um, the early 50s, and I got it because of my interest in being a film producer. And this, does this car have a, a, a unique or an unusual engine? Yes. In late 1951, Hudson introduced, uh, to keep up with the racing, a 7X motor. So this one has an undivulged horsepower rated about 210 horsepower in a straight six two carbureted uh, engine and when you got into a hudson the frame uh, was higher and built into the car it's a unibody and then you step down into it when you sit well we're here with a legend a living legend art fitzpatrick who has is an artist in his own right as well as was involved in the concepts and designs of uh, vehicles which are here at the show um, tell me you were pointing out one of the vehicles that you know that you were a major contributor it's, to it's the car. ones that i well, that, as I say, that particular Darren, uh, the one that's sitting over there, that uh, Kaiser Darren, I used that in a postage stamp, and uh, I did some ads for Kaiser Darren, so I kept back doing that. I did, I did the uh, announcement ads for the Darren-designed Kaiser car. And that was so it all comes back. But it, it brings you back when you can go out there, when you can see that car right 30 now. 30 years doing the advertising and forget the designing. This is what? It's a 1954 Kaiser Darren Roadster. Kaiser built 435 of them in 1954 before they went out of business. And uh, about 1974, I found this car in Cathedral City, California, out by Palm Springs. To the original and it looked just like this, didn't it? No, it sure did not. The car had been caught in a flood at that time, uh, parked behind an apartment building, and it was sitting there, the complete flood damage uh, to the body, the car, the upholstery, and between the flood, the sunlight, and so forth, it was a total mess. Oh, this is a beautiful car. Are you the original owner? No, I'm, I'm this... Uh, I don't know how many owners before me, but I bought the car out of Nebraska. The guy had already re halfway restored the car, but I found it, it was an original LA car built in March of 57, and it was a um, perfect car for a fuel injected car. So I built it as a number matching fuel injected car. And in 57, they built less than 50, uh, uh, 70 fuel injected cars. And uh, did it take you just a couple of months to rebuild this whole thing? No, it took me 12 years. And I assume a few bucks out of your pocket as well, right? Uh, Twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> did you do the rebuilding yourself, or did you have somebody do it? I had Sparks Restoration did a lot of the work. Michael Damaraki did some work, and Brad Dunn did, did some work. Three different experts. And I, I assume this is not an everyday driver, is it? Oh, heck no. It's got 12.9 miles. Total? Total. Wow. But it is drivable. Yes. Yeah. 